Um, I have to obviously say that um, it's a delight to be here uh, with you this evening. Uh, Cromer and Sheringham, I must admit, um, are probably my two most favourite towns in uh, Norfolk, possibly. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> and everywhere else that you may come from, I like them too. I made some uh, fantastic memories up in the uh, in this little corner of the North Norfolk um, County, and it's great to visit West Runton tonight. I don't know much about the area, but it's always between Cromer and Sheringham, and I always go through it. So it's great to be here, and it's great to meet you. And it isn't every day, I must admit, that I get to uh, stand and talk with such a varied group of people, a warm and fascinating bunch, and this club obviously has uh, it in, uh, in its very riches. So thank you very much, and thank you to the staff at the Dormy House Hotel uh, for what was a fantastic dinner, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I fell in love with Portland very quickly. On the east, a five-mile trail takes you to a volcanic cinder cone, an extinct one, and a fantastic overlook from the city from it. And whilst the hike to the west leads you to the Hoy Arbitrum, which is a collection of some 800 species of trees, and there's me in between just two of those 800 species of trees. What's most encouraging is that Portland is a city that preserves its architecture in a way that a derelict house preserves the dust. Such a blend between the historic and the contemporary is visible down every avenue. If this doesn't impress you, and it may not bubble the adrenaline like a, an Alaska mountain range, but Portland also holds the world's largest second-hand bookstore, uh, bookstore, and to tickle the taste buds next to it, one of the world's most famous donut stores, uh, Voodoo Donuts. And uh, you can take a book and a donut, you can go up to the Pittock Mansion, a grand piece of 20th century architecture, and savour the views of Mount St. Helens. One city, in one state, in one country, but yet a range of diversity. And that's why I rank Portland so highly. Can I pre-warn you now, though, actually, that uh, if you struggle these days to get up the beast and bump, don't go to San Francisco, because... Uh, it's a city that undulates more times than a piece of corrugated cardboard. Um, your knowledge of physical geography, for somebody who hasn't been to college yet, is very good. Are they taking you on board at the university to be a lecturer at all? <laughs> so no. what, what college are you going to? I'm going to the uh, Royal Holloway, oh, which I was explaining to the centre table, actually. Um, Oxford and Cambridge offer the best geography course mm. in the country. But I wanted to go down the physical oh, geography route. Good and that's specific to <coughs> Holloway. And uh, no, I'm, I, I can confirm that they haven't approached me yet. <laughs> however, however, who knows? Uh, but I definitely want to take on board all the, uh, all, all the right routes to go down education. I want to get a, a BSc, then a Masters, then a PhD, and go on you know, up, upwards from there. But I don't want to jump the gun when it comes to education. It, you know, it's good to do this, but I want to go down all the steps to make sure I get those letters after the name and truly earn them. Mm. 